cold start up on a 2017 Mercedes AMG GLC 43 Coupe. This is a cold start up on a 2013 Fiat 500 Abarth. This is a cold start up on a 2015 Jaguar F-Type R. This is a cold start of a BMW 330ci. Change the Jag for the Beamer. Voila. But we need to put it on the lift. Let's get started. Hello everybody, welcome back to Performance on Wheels. Today we are going to be installing a Magnaflow exhaust system on a BMW E46 330Ci. Straight from Magnaflow themselves for $1,030. Let's check it out. Let's get started. So, as we know, Magnaflow systems are always 100% stainless steel with a lifetime warranty. Let's get all these parts out of the box. Here it is all laid out. We have a three-piece system. Let's see what it looks like unwrapped. Check that out. Look at these mufflers. The welds are just fantastic. I've never seen a Magnaflow exhaust system that isn't just pure quality. Factory exhaust, two and a half inches on the Beamer. The Magnaflow, three and a quarter. That is uh, bigger. Check out that difference. Those things look sweet. Hi everybody, my name is Carson Tadovich. I'm from Northside Garage, and this is my 2004 BMW 330Ci. This is a cat-back system, so believe it or not, we're starting to remove the exhaust up behind the catalytic converter. 15 mil nuts on the little stud fellers on the flange up here is uh, what we're running into first. Uh, California car, which that is quite lovely, breaking free bolts on a vehicle from 2004. Pretty awesome. He's removing the mounts here, and they're 13 mils. The BMW engineering's pretty cool here as far as an exhaust system. We just have those flange bolts we moved back here. We got the double bracing, and there's some of our exhaust mounts there. I'm kind of curious on what these are here. Uh, is it like a bump stop or something for the exhaust system? I don't know. I'm probably sounding like an idiot right now, but that's all right. The only other support other than that middle one I just showed you is in the back here. And we're actually just gonna take the nuts off of uh, the entire bracket instead of trying to fight getting those rubber grommets out. Out with the old, in with the new. Check out the factory system versus the Magnaflow. We'll start back with the tips and head up all the way through. That does mean that we are straight from the cats right now, so I think the owner wants to start it. and moved the rubber grommets over to the new system. Just this is currently changing the rubber grommets that were right here over to the new system as well. Don't forget to get your clamps in place, ready to go. Let's get the new system on. Hardest part of the job right now, getting the two flanges together. 
as of now we're probably a total of 15 to 20 minutes into this job we already have the new magnaflow uh, about 40 percent installed lining up this flange uh, is proving to be kicking our butts at the moment but we will get it yeah that was uh, pretty mm. darn easy in my opinion i needed to oh. stop for dinner because i haven't eaten today the route we took here is to use four of us. Obviously, you can do this without four people, but boy, I think it's actually easier. We assembled the entire system, held it up, made our flange connections, putting our four bolts in at the back, put this one support in to hold it in place. We're leaving this one out so we can torque these down to 40, uh, make our adjustments on where the tips are sitting. Uh, we're almost done. With about, uh, what, four guys, about 35 minutes? I'd say, I would say it was pretty easy. Toughest part, I would leave the exhaust off as you try to get some of those clamps in. Make sure everything fits properly before you lift it up and start getting everything in there. Uh, we had a few issues with lining up the pipes. Yeah, when we put the sections together, we actually had to take a clamp and squeeze them together to get the next section to slide over. Um, once we used that clamp, it went on very easily, but they are misaligned by probably a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch and uh, didn't have the He-Man strength to make it happen. So super easy. You could definitely do this by yourself or with two people. With four people, it was obviously easiest. Let's take a listen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video on performance on wheels. Be sure to check out some of our other videos. Hit like, hit subscribe, check out our Corvette C8 review, check out our Jaguar F-Type. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what you think. See you guys in the future.